Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for viewing my video. Our topic for discussion will be demystified multiple assess. This will be the part two series. What happened here is I received feedback from you guys that if I don't include the different type of transmission mode like simplex, half duplex, or full duplex, this will meet my discussion on multiple assess incomplete. Therefore, I quickly add this in today's discussion. Okay, so what are the different types of transmission mode? Okay, as I mentioned earlier on, there are many three types of transmission mode. First one will be simplex, half duplex, and full duplex. For simplex, communication can actually happen in only one direction. And basically, they cannot be reversed. Half duplex, communication can happen in both directions. However, the transmission must not occur at the same time. As for full duplex, full duplex actually allows simultaneous exchange of data in both directions at the same time. Okay, so on the next three slides, I have prepared a very simple animation to describe the different types of transmission mode. So simplex. Okay, so simplex actually allows only one-way communication. Example of simplex communication will be FM and TV broadcasts. However, I realized that FM and TV broadcasts are not relevant anymore because FM and TV already went into digitalized. Okay, another example of simplex will be remote control. Basically, remote control work in only one way. So let's take a look on the animation in order to understand simplex communication. Okay, so when I actually press the button to on the TV, okay, as shown over here, Okay, upon receive the on TV message, the TV actually turned on. So what happened here is you can see that the communication actually take place from the remote all the way to the TV. And the TV has no mean to communicate back to the remote control. So this is classified under simplex. Next, half duplex. Okay, so for half duplex, Okay, each station, basically, they can either transmit or receive, but this cannot happen at the same time. Normally, for half duplex, it actually use only one single frequency. So therefore, you can't have transmit and receive simultaneously because there is only one frequency. And basically, the one frequency serve only either the transmit or receive. So one of the example of half duplex is basically walkie-talkie. Okay, so again, let's take a look on the simple animation here. For example, the walkie-talkie on the left want to talk to the walkie-talkie on the right. So basically, he will send a message, hello, over. So after the second walkie-talkie receive the message, hello, then it will be able to send another message back to the walkie-talkie one. For example, with a reply, yes. So basically from here, you can see that communication does not happen at the same time. And also they are using the same frequency to establish communication. Next will be full to blacks. Okay, for full to blacks, the radio system, basically they can transmit and receive simultaneously. Typically for full to blacks, two frequencies are used. One will be reserved for transmit and the other one will be for receiving. Okay, so the example of full duplex will be cellular phone. Again, let's take a quick look on the simple animation that I have prepared. So from here, you can see that the two phones can actually talk to each other at the same time. Both can send the message hello at the same time. 
So basically, this is full to plex. The radio system basically are allowed to transmit or receive simultaneously. So with this, I end my video. Okay, please like and subscribe. Thank you.